Hello friends, and welcome back to another video. I want to start off by saying that this is by no means a comprehensive video about every possible drama related to the Tramp Stamps. It's not. It's very specifically about that one time they got run off of Tumblr within like five hours. Five hours is the number that I keep seeing thrown around a lot, although I don't know if that's like exactly to the minute accurate. Regardless, it was a short window of hours that it took for Tumblr users to cyberbully them into deleting their blog. Hi bestie, I love your music, but I need to know if you think Kamala Harris is a certified riot girl from the queens of punk themselves. Girl boss. Bruh, you really said what's ACAB? How in the world do y'all claim to be punk? Map? Treff? ACAB? We can't keep up lol. Also Marissa is dyslexic, so all those acronyms are super confusing. Hey babes, just wondering if you think Margaret Thatcher has girl power? Mmm, heart emoji. Hashtag tramp stamps, hashtag punk, hashtag feminism, hashtag riot girl, hashtag alt, hashtag girl boss. Do you think John Green utilized girl power when he revealed what one of his favorite tastes was? So given that it took place in such a short window of time, a few hours, um, and the fact that the original blog is deleted, I'm sure that some gold has been lost to history. I myself missed out on this entirely, but I have scoured the relevant tags, I have asked people who were following it more closely at the time, so that I can piece together this tale before the evidence is completely buried and lost to time. But first, I need to tell you about this video's sponsor, Audible. I love audiobooks, I love the convenience of them, I love being able to multitask and listen to a book while I do boring adult tasks. If you want to read more but you feel like you don't have the time, I think audiobooks are an amazing solution. When you sign up to Audible, you'll immediately get one free audiobook. Well, you get a free audiobook every single month, but that includes when you first sign up, you immediately get a free audiobook. And I highly recommend that you go do that, you go sign up right now, and you use your first credit to get Piranesi by Susanna Clark. It is like the impossible baby of House of Leaves and the secret history, and I finished it in one day, and it gave me some weird dreams. And Audible is now giving members even more with the all-new Growing Plus catalog filled with thousands of select audiobooks, podcasts, Audible originals, guided fitness and meditation programs, and sleep tracks for better rest. So go to audible.com slash strangeons or text strangeons to 500-500 to start your 30-day free trial, check out the all-new Plus catalog, and get one free audiobook. Also another thing that's very important, before we delve into more Tramp Stamps drama, I just want to get this out of the way before I forget to say it. Look at my daughter. Look at my daughter. She's on my sweater now. She's on a girl girl. She's on my she's on a sweater. Links in the description below if you want to get yourself one of these. They're very comfy and I love them. You can get it in white with a black print if you want. You can get white or black t-shirts. You can get the classic Strangey on sweater. That one is still up for sale as well if you like that design better. That is my like once a year merch plug for you. There you go. The Tramp Stamps are a horribly executed industry plant. Everybody knows this at this point. I'm not this is not the video that's going to be going through all of that stuff. The vibe that they give me is like 2000s Disney Channel stars being dressed up in these ridiculous outfits that no teenager has ever worn. And I'm not even the only one who thought that. I saw another post that said that they look like Disney Channel stars too, and they just do. That's like their, ex their, it's their exact aesthetic. They're trying to go for this like alternative emo punk blue haired SJW and proud hashtag girl boss aesthetic. They have a song about how they hate white men or like not wanting to sleep with straight white men. I. I don't know, man. Their brand is just like, if 2014's worst hits were distilled in a laboratory and then fed to the most cringy Hello Fellow Kids marketing team that has ever existed, and it went exactly how you would expect based on that description. This was the about page on their blog. It says, Whip smart and wildly irreverent Nashville-based band Tramp Stamps are introducing a fantastically unfiltered new voice into today's pop landscape with a lyrical style that is equal parts social commentary, soul-bearing confession, and brilliantly profane storytelling. Singer Marissa Mayno, guitarist Caroline Baker, and drummer Paige Blue speak the truth on societal ills like white boy privilege and fragile masculinity. All our songs start with us going on rants about stuff that pisses us off, shit we wish were different, stories that have happened to us involving fucked up guys, says Mayno. Their songs feature lyrics such as just a Tumblr girl and a skater boy taking on the world, stuck in Illinois. Shenanigans include photoshopping themselves into images of Stonewall protests, for some reason. Yeah, let's go. Let's fight the male invaders. Fuck the patriarchy. I'm gender crit too, which is short, gender critical that turfs. You are all real women fighting against those men's rights activists. Preach. No time for men's bullshit. This is a post that's been going around with two lovely screenshots. So in the first screenshot, they've accidentally admitted to being turfs. In the second screenshot, what would you know? It gets worse. Hey, do you support MAPS as an LGBTQA identity? We support everyone. MAPS is a really cute and fresh and fun new way of saying pedophiles. It stands for minor attracted people. So do these posts confirm that they are TERFs who support pedophiles? 
absolutely not. These are clearly people baiting them. People send them these carefully crafted messages, which obviously use vague language on purpose for the purpose of getting them by getting them to agree with shit that they probably don't because they don't even know what you're saying. At the same time, I don't feel bad for them because it costs you like zero dollars and 30 seconds of your day to Google what stuff means before you agree with it. So presented with this insufferable caricature of ourselves, the real blue-haired Tumblr SJWs crawled out of our COVID depression cocoons and went, yeah, I'll cyberbully three 20-something women dressing as emo teens and pretending to hate men for clout. I say cyberbullying, but I haven't come across anything yet that seems like truly malicious bullying. It's honestly just a lot of stupid trolling, a lot of copy pasting, especially Tumblr specific memes. I think Tumblr was a little set off by their, their claims to being Tumblr girls, you know, it's literally in the lyrics of some of their songs. So Tumblr decided to uh, put put that put that claim to the test and see how the tramp stamps endured such interesting experiences as having the entirety of my immortal copied and pasted into the replies of their posts. John Greencock monologue, of course, Opa homeless style, asking them where they got their shoelaces, if they shipped John Locke, and then delighting in seeing them misunderstand just the absolute most basic Tumblr memes. So I say that I missed out on the Tramp Stamps drama entirely, but that's not completely true. I reblogged this post on, on the day that all of the drama was going down, April 17th, I reblogged this post without having any idea who these women were. So it's this which I assumed was just like a cringy stock photo kind of stock gif that somebody found and then somebody commented, is this the cool weed guy's three girlfriends who smoke weed cigarettes? It's called a bunt and yes. So <laughs> I thought it was just a joke about the weed smoking girlfriends post, which if you don't know is like one of the most iconic Tumblr posts in the history of ever. And I thought somebody was just being like, oh haha, the three weed smoking girlfriends. And I was like, Yes, haha, -ha, the three weed-smoking girlfriends. Little did I know. Little did I know. This is what the weed-smoking girlfriends post looks like. It's on Heritage Posts, but um, it's uh, completely unreadable because they have changed their theme to what the old Tumblr dashboard used to look like. This is what scrolling Tumblr used to be like. If a post had like a long string of reblogs, it literally looked like this. It was completely incomprehensible. Hmm, kids these days don't have to try and decipher Tumblr posts that look like this. What is society becoming? So it's this picture. And it's captioned, my three girlfriends, and yes, they smoke weed. Do they smoke weed? Yes, actually. You mean she isn't just smoking a cigarette, but a weed cigarette? It's called a bunt, not a weed cigarette. And yes, it is a weed bunt. They all smoke weed bunts before we kiss. They are my girlfriends. So you get the idea. Except you don't, because this is the weed smoking girlfriends posters arrived. There are some plot twists, but we need to move on. Because of the kind of vague similarity, three kind of alternative looking white women with colored hair, the weed smoking girlfriends became very popular to weaponize against the tramp stamps within a certain five glorious glorious hours. So yeah, I reblogged this post without having any idea that it was part of a giant effort by Tumblr to run a cringy fake punk band off of the site. I clearly did not read the notes at that time. <laughs> Disney capitalism core back off haters. So girl boss, what's up ladies? I wrote you some lyrics if you want them. It goes a little like this. Cock is one of my favorite tastes. Another staple of the trolling, which I, we can't sleep on, is of course, um, bug ass. You're laughing. Industry plant tramp stamps got bullied off Tumblr with bug ass and you're laughing. When you're so dummy thick that the clap of your ass cheeks alone chases the tramp stamps off Tumblr. The phrase bug ass, these emojis, and variations on this picture were spammed relentlessly to their inbox, replying to all of their posts. But why? Why would such a thing? happened to three good Christian women who have never used the n-word on Twitter. Well, the general consensus about the providence of bug ass is literally just that someone d did it or posted that picture and everybody else thought it was funny and started doing it too, which is I guess how like most memes are born. That's that's just, that's how memes work actually, yeah. Apparently a popular Tumblr user made a post about honeypot ants around the same time the type of ant in the picture is a honeypot ant. So some people thought that that post might be related to bug ass becoming a tramp stamps specific meme, or maybe it was the opposite and bug ass truly just came from the void one day. And, and then that post about honeypot ants was in some way inspired by bug ass, but I found it. I found the post, it's from April 9th. Informative post about honeypot ants does in fact predate bug ass. But honestly, the two might not even be related. They might just be Two completely separate instances of people just talking about honey plants on Tumblr like a week apart. There, there might be no relation at all between... There, there might... 
I don't know what I'm doing with my life. So having over a decade's worth of pure unrestrained garbage memes spewing at you from every direction is a lot for anyone to handle. If I've learned anything from reading comments on some of my videos, and the tramp stamps tolerated it for around five hours before finally deleting trampstamps.tumblr.com. Hello darkness, my old friend. And then they came back. A couple days later, tramp stamps with three Zs dot tumblr.com appeared instead. Like, I'm not sure if it's been like 100% beyond a doubt confirmed that this is their new official blog. There is a small chance that this could be a very convincing troll, but given that all of the screenshots that I've seen of their original blog, screenshots of their other social media, it would have to be a very convincing troll, very dedicated to like keeping the, per the persona they had going alive and not really deviating too much. I'll show you some of the other parody blogs that um, <laughs> definitely take some creative liberties, but this one is very accurate to what their other social media looks like. My favorite possibility actually is that like it's not actually any of the girls who are running their social media, it's just like some bored social media intern taking the piss and they know exactly what they're doing. But then all of the like out of touch hello fellow kids uh, higher ups are like they look at this and they're like, yep, looks great, Jeremy. And in that case, Jeremy would be the only winner in this situation because everybody else is suffering. Their theme is pretty hard on the eyes, pink text on purple backgrounds, great choice. They've got the exact same bio they had on the original blog, which we read before. You can see immediately they are out to reclaim bug ass. We've got people still spamming bug ass in the replies. Someone said, I'm calling it now, they're gonna release a song called Bug Ass on May 5th, 2021. There's still time for that to be proven right. Hashtag tramp stamps, hashtag bug ass, hashtag punk, hashtag feminism, hashtag riot girl, hashtag alt, hashtag girl boss, hashtag bug ass. <laughs> They also do seem to have been educated about some of the Tumblr memes that people were making fun of them with. Another iconic Tumblr post, someone was like, if I ever see any of you weirdos from Tumblr in real life, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna say I like your shoelaces, because, you know, that's a weird thing to say that nobody would ever regularly say. And then you have to say thanks. I stole them from the president, and that's how you recognize Tumblr people in real life. So, that's Tumblr code. So somebody sent them an ask that said I like your shoelaces, and they were just like, thanks, BB, hashtag girlboss. And then everyone was like, fake Tumblr girls, as if it wasn't as if we didn't know, but clearly they have been educated since then. Someone said, I like your shoelaces, and they said, we stole them from the president, baby. So, they're learning. Let's just look through their blog a bit. I'm looking for some specific posts that I want to show you that I remember, but they've posted some new stuff since then, so let's just browse. So when are you deleting your account again? Never. Hey babes, are you like other girls? Not at all. Is at Tramp Stamps actually the Tramp Stamps? I genuinely can't tell if it's satire anymore. Yeah. I mean, I, they've claimed to be the official blog many times on this blog, but I'm not sure if they have, like, linked it on other social media or anything like that that would, like, truly beyond 100% confirm that this is them. <laughs> Mr. Obama, is that you? <laughs> Hello? Please help me. I seem to be in a little bit of <laughs> trouble, Mr. Obama. Hello? Nope. This is the Tramp Stamps, the Nashville pop punk riot girl band. Why are you white? <laughs> That's a racist, baby. The correct answer is you can't just ask people why they're white! Oh my god, Karen, you can't just ask people why they're white. What do y'all think about Super Hulock? IDK, never listen to them. This is, these were, these were the posts I was looking for. OMG, while you're listening to Super Hulock, you should totally check out Misha Apocalypse. They have such an edgy, end of the world type of sound. And totes. What is an edgy end of the world type sound? I recommend listening to Onceler 2, really good music. How bad can I be is legendary. At least when they look that one up, they're actually gonna get music from the Lorax. This one is the most true. Someone sent them an ask saying, is this you? I will support at Page Blue no matter what. Love is love. At all of you judging me for being pro cousin loving cousin, first of all, love is love. Please educate yourself. Second of all, most historic figures were cousin loving cousin. We owe so much to the community. Third of all, how are you going to be a star? Stamper. They're trying to stamp their stamper without supporting Page Blue. Huge thank you to Paige for helping positively represent cousin loving cousin relationships in the music industry. We all love and support you, BB. And they said none of your business. They're not blood related. Angry face, angry face, angry face. Another account has also popped up recently called Tramp Stands, which they have a habit of running their own running running stan accounts for themselves. Well, and there's a lot of screenshots of their 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 stan accounts on TikTok as well. I think accidentally like responding as the band and it's like aren't you supposed to be a stan account but it's actually them so anyway so this is tramp stands with three z's dot tumblr.com but a lot of the posts are 
like from their point of view speaking as the tramp stamps so it's probably the same deal uh they have an apology for the the map post it has come to our attention that map is another word for pedophile we didn't we didn't know what it meant and we are sincerely sorry we thought it stood for morning after pill do you guys know what happened to john green when he had tumblr it was the cock thing <laughs> people edited his post when we could still do that and made it look like that. Everyone who's sending that is just trying to get you off the website. Please stay though, you're cool. Don't let the haters get you down. Imagine if the tramp stamps came onto Tumblr in the era of post editing, but also we wouldn't even need it. We wouldn't. E we don't even need to change anything about their posts. They're perfect already. They're perfect already. Um, anyway, they said, OMG, oh, that's so weird, poor John Green. But hey, thanks for telling us. We thought it was just men being creepy again. And yes, don't worry, we're here to stay. Oh, they posted a picture of the, um, the cock monologue showing up three times in a row in their inbox and they're like guys please stop with the cock thing it's disgusting it is i don't even want to read it out loud <laughs> but beyond the first line it is gross but you know what it's also funny and i fully condone it condone its use in this case which one is the real tramp stamps you guys or tramp stamp this is tramp stamps though oh that url has four zeds instead of three okay us report the fakes please they are so annoying starting rumors about Paige and her husband, who is her cousin, but they're not blood related, so it's fine. Every second message we get is, does Paige fuck her cousin? And it's so annoying. <laughs> I made a you quiz, which Tramp Stamps member are you? This is dedicated to all my besties, Stan Tramp Stamps. Totally not industry plants, just epically weird. <laughs> okay, my real name is Strange Eons. What's your favorite Tramp Stamp song? Sex with me, 1-800, miss your guts, I'd rather die. I have never heard any of those songs and I refuse to eternally. That's the one. Who's your favorite member? Marissa, Paige, Caroline. The spiciest member because she's Italian and possibly a little bit queer. The one who's, never mind, she's the spiciest. She's dating her cousin. And that one, I'm gonna go for cousin one because that's the most entertaining fact, I think. Which of these is your favorite photo of them? Oh my God, we have them photoshopped into Dashcon, the moon landing, Bernie Sanders meme. I like the Dashcon one. I think one of the options in here should have been the, the photo that they unironically photoshopped themselves or someone on their team did of them in the Stonewall protests. Cause that just, oh man. Oh man, you can't make that shit up. What's your favorite lyric? I'd rather die than hook up with another straight white guy. I'd rather die than fake it till I'm having a good time. I'd rather die than spend the night with another Ryan. So why are you telling all your friends I'm psycho? Like you think they don't know how much we bone. <laughs> Maybe if I told them that you cry in bed, you'd uh, have a little respect for the pussy you get. Just a Tumblr girl and a skater boy taking on the world, stuck in a little- Oh man. Oh man, ow. Okay, I'm picking the Tumblr girl one. How much do you love them? So much, bestie. That hurt a little bit to type. So my result is the record executive that thought of this. None of the options are them. You can get the record executive, Dr. Luke, we're not even gonna go into that. The PR team, the white guy, one of them married. <laughs> kind of sad I didn't get the PR team, to be honest. I wanted to be Jeremy, the social media intern who's having the time of his life. I'm a fan from Greece, and I translated your band name to Greek. Haha, <laughs> that's so cute, lol, thanks. And then they reblog it again, like, oh shit, it's the bug thing again, isn't it? <laughs> You're catching on, Tramp Stamps, good for you. Have y'all ever heard of Dashcon? Not before today. You guys literally made us read the whole Wikipedia page about this convention. I hope everyone who donated got their money back because that's so sad. The extra hour thing is funny though, but it would be so cool to organize an actual Tumblr convention though. We play at the ceremony. Oh my God, guys, Dashcon 2. <laughs> it would probably have to be 2022 because of COVID. Dashcon 2, 2022, the Tramp Stamps play live. Oh my God. I would go. Genuinely, I'm sad right now. You guys have a song claiming to be Tumblr Girls and you can't even read uwu speak. We're not claiming to be anything and Paige is the Tumblriest of us all, lol. Paige starter pack. I, I really can't tell what's Tumblr about any of this, L like at all, but okay. How much more Tumblr can you get? She had a whole blog dedicated to pictures of cute puppies. That's so funny. Haha. <laughs> Hi, can you explain how Paige is a Tumblr girl? I look at that mood board thing you posted and I don't get it and I've been on Tumblr for the past six years. It's fucking same, my dude. The puppy is a reference to the fact that Paige had a blog dedicated to pictures of puppies. The girl is obsessed with dogs. She's also a big book nerd and we all know nerd girls love Tumblr. Oh, and if you hadn't noticed, Paige smokes weed, so... But... 
But does she smoke weed? I can't tell if this is them referencing the weed smoking girlfriends on purpose, if they're referencing it by accident because they've noticed so many people talking about, but do you smoke weed in their replies? <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Dear Lord, let this be a social experiment or a rogue intern or something. I, I It's too good to not be. I feel like I'm gonna get my heart broken if I believe that this is genuine. You know what I mean? It's just, it's too good to be true. I was saying just a minute ago that their posts are already perfect, but you know, I'm gonna keep an open mind because some people have taken it upon themselves to create some parody blogs for the Tramp Stamps as well, since it's kind of been a little bit of the Wild West, people trying to figure out what's the real blog, and it's extra hard because a lot of the URLs look, they look very similar or they look very normal, like this one is just called trampstands.tumblr.com, and then the title is, wow, I sure do love the Tramp Stamps, so cool, yeah, make tampons free, I'm hungry, they taste good, please. Just a Tumblr girl and a skater boy taking on the world, stuck in Illinois, LMAO, what Gen X motherfucker wrote this? Thanks for the question, Stamper, it came to me in a dream. I don't have another choice. What is your favorite morning activity? Ours is digging holes under the fence in our backyard before they get filled in again. This one is trampstamps-official.tumblr.com, it has the same header image as them, similar colors, it says stream I'd rather die, but the bio just says we use tampons. <laughs> Buy our merch so we can finally get the worms out of our drinking water. Basically we were walking down the sidewalk talking about something meaningless. I think I ha think it had to do with the movie. Then the bus screeches to a stop next to us and a bunch of people with down with cis shirts climbed out and started beating him up. I was punched and kicked a bit too but I managed to avoid brutalization by going for their faces. After figuring out what's happening I started attacking them back Getting them off of him, he was quite injured, but I called 911 and he made a full recovery at the hospital. I was fine, with only a cut on my arm that they patched up. And then the genuine Tramp Stamps blog replies, Wow, glad your friend is okay, stay safe. Tramp Stamps official chimes in with, We are going to send worms to your location. So what have we learned? It does relate back, I think, to a larger issue, and I've seen some posts about this, about Tumblr being generally uninhabitable for mainstream celebrities. Like, there's no such thing as Tumblr influencers, you can't make money off of it. Tumblr barely feels like social media anymore, it just feels like I'm in my enriched enclosure with my images and my <laughs> weird little gray dude who keeps challenging me to fights in the Denny's parking lot. I would go as far as to say that Tumblr is generally uninhabitable for anyone who hasn't been on the site for a couple of years or who didn't join specifically for a fandom or subculture, and the latter is becoming less and less common now. A lot of the communities, like the like the core tags, are a lot bigger on TikTok anyway, and a lot of fandoms and interest based communities are moving over to Discord now. So. There's less and less reasons to join Tumblr, it's just becoming increasingly insulated. I do think now that, now that there's a couple years perspective on it, that the 2018 Not Safe For Work ban was like kind of the Tumblr apocalypse in a lot of ways. Like that was when all hope for mainstream popularity or respectability for the site ended. There was this massive exodus of users and now what's left is just this post-apocalyptic wasteland of fucking bug ass and EBDB and super hulock renaissance and penis Friday. It ain't much, but it was enough to scare the tramp stamps away and for that, I am proud of you Tumblr. Happy Penis Friday, and I'll see you in another video very soon.